Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here this follows what we have a raised to power m minus n, which is empty as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. At this here, we have it raised to power x over a raised to power 1 equals to 80 on this side. Then this same thing as it raised to power x over it raised to power 1 as 8 and equals to we can write as 80 over 1. The next step here we cross multiply it raised to power x times 1, same thing as it raised to power x, then equals to 80 times 8 on this side. And from here, take the log on both sides. Here we have log. 8 raised to power x equals to log 80 times 8 here. And next step, we apply the power law of log n. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, here we have x log 8 equals to log 80 times 8. Then here we divide both sides by log 8. That is divide this side by log 8. Also divide this side by log 8. Which implies here log 8 cancel each other. And we have x left here. Which is equal to log 80 times 8 over log 8. Then, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 80 plus log 8 over log 8. That is, here. We separate this into two fractions and this becomes x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8 which implies here log 8 comes to each other and we have one left that is x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus 1. Then okay, here, we can also write 80 as 8 times 10, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8 plus 1. At this here, this follows the law of logarithm as well, and we have x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 1. That is, we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 1 that is we have log 8 cancel each other then one left here which implies x equals to 1 plus 1 then plus log 10 over log 8 that is here we have x equals to 1 plus 1 that's 2 m plus log 10 over log 8. Then also here, we can write 10 as 2 times 5, which implies what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. Then this also follows from the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 
plus log 5 over log 8. That is, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. Then, from here, we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. And what we have here becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 2 cubed plus log 5 over log 2 cubed. Then, we apply the power of log theorem. That is 2 comes here, 3 comes here, then also here. And we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. Which also can be written as x equals to 2 plus 1 over 3 left here as this log 2 cancel each other then plus here we have 1 over 3 multiplied by log 5 over log 2 that is here 2 plus 1 over 3 is same thing as 2 number 1 over 3 which can be written as 7 over 3 that is we have x equals to 7 over 3 plus 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2 and when we apply change of base here and when we have log a over log b which can be expressed as log a to base b then what we have becomes x equals to 7 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2 then we can bring this together as one fraction we have x equals to the SCM here that's 3 and this becomes 7 plus log 5 base 2 that is the value of x here we have 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Then what we have becomes 8 raised to power 7 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Then minus 1 is it equals to 80 on this side? And from here, bring this fraction here together as one. It's 1 over 1, and we have 8 raised to the power SM of here, that's 3. And this 3 remains 7 plus log 5, base 2. Then minus 3 here now. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then, next step here, we can express 8. As 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 7 plus log 5 base 2 minus 3, then all over 3, and is equals to 80 from here. Okay, yeah, this part can switch other, 3 can switch other, and we have 2 raised to power 7 minus 3 plus log 5. Is two. Is it equals to eighty on this side? Then seven minus three here. That's four. Now we have two raised to power four plus log five. Base two. Is it equals to eighty on this side? And here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power n plus n, the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. That is, we have two raised to power four times 2 raised to power log 5 raised to is equals to 80 on this side. 
2 raised to the power 4 means 2 multiply itself 4 times, that's 16, and times here follows. Now we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equal to b. Is this the same thing as 5? Is equal to 80 here? And of course, 16 times 5, that's 80, which is equal to 80 on this side. Does this left hand side equal to the right hand side? And then we conclude that x equals to 7 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and post your comments. See you next class and bye for now.